In this video, we'll look at the teacher to student communication options in Securely Classroom, which will be the student hand raise, the announcement, and the two way chat features. These functions are available. Let's look first at Announce. Just like the other buttons that are available at the top, we can use the button without selecting any students, in which case it will apply it to the entire class, or we can select individual students first. So the Announcement option just lets us type in a custom message, send it to one or more students, and it actually locks the student to the message. Let's zoom in on one of these students and get the larger view. So everything else on their screen disappears, making it very clear this is the only thing that they have the ability to see right now. And they actually have to confirm it before they can go back to work. So they're locked out of everything else until they actually click the OK button. And now that student can go back to work. We've been told that this is a favorite feature particularly for teaching remote classes because it guarantees that the student has to see the message and we've been told that teachers sometimes say they get excuses from students that either don't get notifications through Google Classroom or don't read or check their email. Um, as long as they know the student is online, then they're pretty much guaranteed that uh, the student has to see that message and it kind of takes that excuse away. And just like the other functions, they're available from this detailed view as well. So if I want to send the announcement just to this student, then I can send an individual message just to this student. And now you can see the message on the student's screen, and the student has to clear that to go back to work. Next is the student hand raise feature. This is initiated from the student device. They click on the extension icon in the top of the browser and they have an option, if you've enabled it for your class, where they can click raise hand. And when you're looking at the detail view, you can see the orange glowing hand here. Or if we're back on one of the other views, you see it at the top right corner in the thumbnail view or along the top bar in the tab view. This is just to get the teacher's attention um, that the student may need help. So this could be used particularly during a, a study time or a quiet time when they, you don't want students distracting the rest of the class, or just for the student that's a little more shy, doesn't want to draw attention necessarily. But the, the hand raise can be cleared by either the teacher or the student. The student has the option to cancel it again directly from the extension icon, or the teacher can clear it by just clicking on it, and after a couple seconds it will disappear from here too. And then another communication tool is the full two-way chat. And that's available from this chat bubble. And this is a traditional chat type window. So when the teacher sends the message to the student device, there's an option of having it play an alert sound on the student device that can be, that, that can be turned off if you're teaching classes in person, but you may want it on for uh, remote classes. And then the student uh, gets a pop-out window to the left, which we will go look at before I reply here. So we'll look at a detail view for Biff. So that's what it looks like on his device. And then the student can send a message back. And again, there's an optional alert sound that can play on the teacher device. Otherwise, there is the glowing chat symbol that's available on all of the different views. And the teacher can get the larger uh, chat window here. Um, when the chat window is open, the teacher can also flip through the other student devices so that you don't have to go back to the thumbnail or one of the other views to be able to um, switch between messages to different students. And all of the chat session, uh, all of the chats are recorded and part of history. So this really is the best and safest way to have those teacher to student communications happen. Um, it, you have an option as a teacher as to whether you want it so that you always have to initiate the chat yourself or whether the student can actually initiate it themselves, which would be also available from the student uh, device by clicking on the extension icon. And it would be an option along with hand raise where they could start the chat session with the teacher. Uh, 